Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Age of Sail is the predecessor to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is in a far older age, the age of the sailing ships, Man of the Line, and a Ultimate Admiral um, kind of plays similar yet different in this game. Some of the mechanics are similar-ish, but a lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to relearn. Now, I did the tutorial, so I know a bit about the game, and... Uh, I can already tell you it has a bit of a feel that brings me back to Empire Total War from... When was that? 2006? 2007? Long time ago, anyway. Now, we have a tutorial, we have a campaign, battles, custom battles, and of course you can load your games. Let's start with the campaign. Um, I imagine that other content creators have already done the rule and the waves and they don't tread on me. Um, I'm going to go for the Barbary War. Pirates from the Barbary States seizing American merchant ships and holding the crews for ransom. You will command the expeditionary forces and must put an end to the atrocities of the pirates. Recommended for experienced players. Yes, uh, that's going to be an issue, but here we go. The mighty Barbary States of North Africa, typically Ottoman regions. Actually, autonomous kingdoms of dreadful pirates and corsairs. They bring terror on the southern European coastal towns and villages and attack the ships in the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. They capture Europeans and Americans for the Arab slave market in North Africa or to hold them captives for ransom. I was called to put an end to the scourge of the seas. Uh, choose how your story continues. Before I forget, by the way, the game was kindly provided to me by the developers. They asked me to do a review on it, and I'm already in touch with the guys since I uh, correspond a little bit on what I find in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And how I would like to see that game progress. Anyway, um, how do I want the story to continue? The Berbers prefer to raid and keep a few men to protect their lands. Okay. Enemy strength minus 25, rewards plus 15%. While the Berbers are raiding, they keep an army to protect their lands. Medium difficulty. They have a very strong army to protect their lands. Um, I would say they'd like to protect their lands. While the Berbers are raiding, they keep an army to protect their lands. The Berbers prefer to use small and fast ships rather than large warships. Okay, see difficulty easy. Berber pirates can easily turn into a ferocious crew for a warship. Burberry states count on the strong Ottoman fleets to protect their coast. I don't think that that's particularly likely. Um, I would say that they use smaller, faster ships, especially if you're hunting merchantmen. I think this is more likely. Now, I know that it makes the sea difficulty easy, but here we go. The Berbers prefer to use small and fast ships than large warships. Okay, sea difficulty easy, land difficulty normal. And what is that? Adaptation system continuously scales the AI force up or down according to the player's force. Yeah, sure. The Treaty of Paris in 1783 ended the Revolutionary War. And by 1785, Congress had to disband the Continental Navy and sold the remaining ships, putting me out of a job. There was a general lack of money, a loose confederation of the states and more concern being placed on domestic affairs. I returned to a peaceful life and only stories with old friends reminded me of the cruel battles at sea and land. The disbanding of the navy was soon, uh, was soon proved a big mistake, leaving our sea trade without protection. Our merchant ships became the favorite prey of the Barbary Corsairs when approaching the Atlantic coast of Africa or sailing in the Mediterranean Sea. Those Berber pirates and privateers are based in North African ports and launch attacks on ships or raids on the European southern coast. Our government has agreed to pay tribute to stop the attacks, another short-sighted decision that will soon that soon proved also wrong. Um this is the ships that I have, I suppose. Yes. Okay, we got the USS Essex. A 5th-rate Diana-class frigate. Um, good lord. Uh, we have a lot of options here. Upgrade cost. 
2028, I have a thousand. So I'm going to need a bit more than that. Uh, that that's the six pounder guns. Ancient cannon, terribly inaccurate. Great. Worse ergonomics. <laughs> the range and penetration of its shot aren't much better. You're not selling this gun to me. Four pounder Armstrong's gun. Older design, however, suitable for the Navy due to its affordable cost, but still clumsy and inaccurate. Its uh, ordinary barrel provides standard parameters for the weapon. Right. And I suppose I can upgrade this for each ship. I got a 5th rate Diana class frigate. A 6th rate Enterprise, or so 6th rate Sloop of War. And the USS Nautilus, a 7th rate Sloop. Um, let's have a look. This is the amount of crew. Ah, uh, right. So I'm at an optimal level of crew. I can send them to the reserve, I suppose. We add new recruits, the unit's experience is decreased. Ah, yes. You can assign people from the reserves or order or yeah, or order veterans uh, for an additional cost. In the latter case, the experience won't decrease. So my efficiency is quite good, I think. Um, all of these stats are good up until the point where I start to decrease them. And if I go for reservists, yeah, I think that's the problem. Okay, we're going to keep that at optimal. We also have these upgrades. Early copper sheathing, double hull frames, hammocks, hardened hull. Holy shit, there's a lot. Uh, lightweight hull, optimized rig, cutting sails, silk pricked sails. Rudder tackle, unified gun carriages, heart wadding, experimental sights, gun block and tackle. Just basically boosts reload, but it's 7350 to buy that. Wadding, precision gun tackle, speed gun rigging, basically improves reload. Lightweight gun carriages, explosive barrels. That's for fire ships, I don't have one of those. Um, silver repair kits, boarding equipment, double charge, not even sure what that is. Extreme times require extreme measures, so when the enemy would destroy your ship once they're in range, don't let them get in range. Carrying extra powder allows your crew to double charge, or double the charge for each shot, uh, so that a target can be hit much farther away. Aha, uh -huh. higher shot speed will also result in better armor piercing capabilities. Great. But I suppose that that does come at the expense of your ammo, or your, well, your charge. Okay, um, so let's have a look at the USS Essex. She has 14 6-pounders and 26 12-pounders. Reload is 175 seconds. Whew. Okay. Um, the amount of, what's that, wood, I think? 39 inches, 38, 36. That's the amount of pen that we have. Okay. Now, what I'm interested in is what the, the turning circle and maneuverability of this stuff is. Integrity, 1,400, 600, 300. Ooh, the Enterprise is pretty fragile. 400, 400, 300, 200. And the same for the Nautilus. The Nautilus... Nautilus has the best speed at 10.5. Acceleration 9, turning 8.2, turning 7.6, turning 7.2. Very good. So this is going to be basically the, the main battleship, if you will. Uh, I know it's not called that, but that's going to be the role. Enterprise, more of a sports ship, I think. And then Nautilus comes in to intercept stuff. Maybe blow off some rigging while we're at it. The crew... You can buy all sorts of additional officers, I think. Yeah. Right now, I have Zacharia Vaughn, Vaughan, commander. Uh, this man has intelligence, dexterity, strength, perception, willpower, and endurance. Now, none of this stuff was featured <laughs> in the tutorials, so I'm really getting thrown for a loop here. There's a lot of stuff. Now, if you look at Homer Jackson over here, this guy has some really good strength. So, 
if I set this guy as my captain, my boarding skill goes up substantially. This, however, is just one of the five tabs. We have the fleet, we have the admiralty, the map, research, and career. Okay. Admiralty. <clears throat> um, so I can buy a new ship if I have the cash, which I kind of do not. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more than that. Officers, naval weapons, check, and land weapons. Right. The map. What's going on? We have ransom. 35,000, so that pays quite a lot. I'm happy being again on the deck of a ship in the service of the United States. A small ship, no doubt, and at least an honorable mission. My first task was to deliver the usual tribute payment to Tripoli, loaded on the USS Siren. I am also ordered to remain in North Africa and try to improve our relations with the Bowery States. Right. The bad thing with paying tribute is, or paying to, no, with paying a tribute to a pirate, is that more of them will also be attracted to attack you for achieving such an agreement. We were a few miles west of Gibraltar Strait when pirate ships sighted sailing on us. We soon realized that it was not some kind of welcome committee or an escort force. Most likely, they were Moroccan or Algerian corsairs that smelled the gold and were coming after it. Very good. Or, well, maybe not so good, but we're going to play it anyway. Okay, so that's the story. Uh, we have the three ships. They are uh, old naval units, of course. we got two inbound close, one inbound far, and one inbound very far. I think this is the objective. Sort of an escape zone, if you will. Um, it says assign and remove. Oh, right. I can assign all of my ships here. Let's go. Captain, we must protect the siren until reaching the safe zone. So this is the siren. Um, arguably one of the strongest ships. And here we have some inbounds. Better is a fair body in Nusret. Okay. There are only two pirate ships sailing on us. They're not a real threat for our fleet. But it is more than certain that more of them will come for the gold. Okay. We can either keep our course to the safe zone or deal with them now. What are your orders, Captain? We're going to deal with them now, of course. I'm not waiting around for more pirate ships to show up. Now, what do we have here? I imagine that these things are really nimble. They carry 120 crew members. Uh, the bar on top is how much rigging they have. The bar on the bottom is how much strength they have, so how much hull integrity. 120 is crew members. The left bar is left armor, and the right bar is right armor. The game looks really good. You can zoom in quite far. You can actually see all these guys on the ship. Uh, they only have two... No, make that... Yeah, well, two masts and one... I don't know what the naval term for that is. Uh, we have a much more traditional warship, shall we say, in the form of the Essex. 40 guns, and she even carries troops. I can disembark. Is that part of my crew, or...? I'm not sure. Landing parties anyway, but I'm not going to. Now, the plan here is to engage, preferably at range, and I'm going to throw out uh, my... No, not my landing troops. Um, I'm going to throw out these. Chain shot. Ammunition against sails and rigging. My motivation for that is that I believe that these things will outspeed us, outturn us, and I am not particularly interested in either of those abilities. So, we're going to go with that. Uh, I want the Enterprise to slow down a bit. Yeah, before I forget to tell you about all that. Uh, what we have over here, bottom left-hand side. Match target speed or match speed mode. This way I can maintain speed close to a target and I make sure that most of my shells will hit. Then we have how much rigging we have. We can just drift or we can go all sails and uh, or full sails and go full ahead. That is if you have wind, which of course in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts is not a thing, but here it very much is. We have uh, 20 people, 20 sailors, uh, amounts, or, or, or what do you call that, assigned to the sailing task, zero to boarding, 60 to gunnery, 
40 to not be involved in anything? Huh. Um, I actually don't know yet how to assign them to a different position. I did not see that in the, uh, the tutorial, so that's something I'll just have to figure out. Anyway, uh, the Enterprise needs to be slowed down a little bit. Uh, Nautilus is just kind of holding her position. I want you to follow. And I want you to follow the Enterprise. This way it should automatically dictate how much sail we use. And yep, Nautilus is speeding up. Alright, Essex. Turn to port. And engage the lead ship. Now, initially, of course, this is not going to do much. But what I can do is just go really slowly. Because these guys have a favorable wind relative to me. But by doing that, they want to get close. I get that. As they're trying to get close, however, <clears throat> they're going to have to... Um, or, well, I will be crossing their T. They will not be able to bring basically any of their guns to bear. Unless they turn to port or to starboard. So my plan is to, well, more or less hold position. And make sure that I can get rid of some of these ships. Or at least some of their sails. Which is rendered in the game. You can see I'm chunking these sails. And the plan here for me is to divide and conquer. If I'm capable of uh, killing the maneuverability of the Nusret and the Zafer comes in. I can take her out entirely and just let the Nusret kind of be where it is. And not worry about it too much. I'm hoping that that will work. Uh, Siren is a bit too close. There's another pirate far ahead. So I don't have to worry about that one just yet. Siren, chain shot. Neutralize the maneuverability of the Nusret. And you can get notifications here about how much damage we're doing. And both the Zafer and the Nusret are trying, or not so much trying, but are getting slowed down. Now, if I want to do boarding ops, and I kind of do, I'm going to let these guys, or I will have to let these guys come closer. And then it's going to be the Essex that does the actual boarding. Because I have the most troops on her. I want you to turn that way. I want you to follow that one. I want you to follow this one. You can see that the sails under the Zafet are getting seriously damaged. They're really getting ripped up. Nautilus is taking some damage. Over here on the bottom left hand side we can see the amount of guns, the amount of crew, and the status of the ship. Conditions down to 84%. I cannot see that for the enemy ships. So that's not something that I can see like I can in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Nusret's sails are getting ripped up. Now if I want to board this guy, I'm going to have to match course and speed and get close. But right now, I'm sailing against the wind. Which means I'll not be able to do anything at all. What I can try and do is load grape shot, which is uh, sort of shotgun mode. Fire anti-personnel ammunition. Um, it's effective against sailors at short range. Not very good against longer range, or at longer ranges. Condition of the Essex is not very good, to my surprise. But I think the condition is how much your sailors are working. Prepare to engage, do not shoot the Nautilus. There we go, a couple of them died. Now I want to be firing grape shot from the siren. I want you to come to a hard starboard turn. Where's the other guy? Nusaret is having trouble, I think. Firing the port side against the, the, the Nusaret. 
But at this range it might not be very effective. So if Ferris down to 109 crew, I can easily overwhelm that with the crew of the Essex. Ooh, the siren's getting her head done in. Turn to port. Slow down a bit. Down to 100. Oh, they're burning. <laughs> Not so sure I'm going to board that. More importantly, I don't know if that spreads. So I am very much motivated to stay the hell away from that thing. Oh, they put it out. No, they didn't. Now they did. Okay, good on you. We still need to turn. We're doing some damage against her, but barely any against the crew. Maintain that grape shot. Oh, sorry, um, chain shot. Essex should be speeding up. She's doing about four knots now. Five, six, seven... Eight, nine knots. But now, of course, she's kind of on the wrong orientation. So I want to board that thing. See, I'm at a too great an angle. I need to be turning with the, Z the Zafer over here. I think the Zafer is still more maneuverable than my ship. Come here. Because I quite literally want to hit them with my sword. I'm not sure if I can sell this ship off later. But that'd be great. Uh, if not, I might be able to add it to my own fleet. Okay, we need to match speed. And we need to match the angle. That one. Keep a parallel course with the target. And you should be capable of boarding right about now. We're too far away though. Wounding their, or we're, we're damaging their rigging a bit more. Slow. Slow, 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 slow. We're going too fast. There we go. Boarding ropes are being thrown over. Or boarding hooks, maybe? There's a lot of this naval terminology that I don't quite know yet. Essex is now going to be engaging in very close quarter warfare. Boarding operations. There we go. These things are all lined up. And we should be seeing some more death and destruction on the Zafer. All the while, we're continuously blasting them with our grape shot. It looks, however, like the Burke is a new pirate ship. One that got involved a little later. Um, Nautilus... Can we have you and the Enterprise come back here? Well, not really, I'm afraid. How is the Enterprise doing? Oh, you need to be turning to starboard there, buddy. Come on. Grab them. There we go. Now they're getting boarded. And they're getting killed off really quickly. At this rate, I think this affair is going to surrender very soon. Twenty-two crew members left versus the two hundred and fifty on the Essex. There we go. This affair. I can uh, transfer minimum crew, or I can just sink it. No, we're going to capture that thing. All right. So now we have one other ship. It probably won't be very effective. Because it's, well, heavily damaged, thanks to me. And on top of that, it's running with a skeleton crew. But regardless, I'm hoping that I can keep, or I can uh, save, save that ship. Give me full sails or whatever's left of it. I want you to slow down. We're going to try and do that again with the Nusret. Because why not? Just kind of get in their way. Nautilus, chain shot that thing. Chain shot it. Yep, yeah, their rigging is getting damaged. And we're waiting for the Nusret to come along starboard side. 
That's the target for the Essex. Now we still have more than, or about double the crew members that they have, but not as much. So ideally I would start to reduce their numbers first, capture them second. And that seems to be working. These guys are not happy. Now there's a fourth pirate ship coming in over here. Fortunately, it's going to take them a while to get here. So for the moment, I should be fine. I should have some time. Essex morale is still 98%. We're good. Where do you think you're going? 95 crew members, 94, 92, 91. Commence boarding. I'm hoping that I broke their morale sufficiently. Reduce rigging. This right here is how we deal with pirates. We capture them, we put a small crew on them. After the battle, we'll recrew them. And with a recrewed ship, we'll take the fight to the pirates. But we'll have more ships to do that. Siren's uh, kind of heading away on her own. Oh, there's another pirate ship coming in. Great. Situation here. Oh, you surrendered? Did you? <laughs> really? Already? Yeah, I think you did. Uh... No, hold on. I think it's neutral. Alright. That's the second park ship done. Next, we need to target the Burke, intercept her, and take her out. Now, right now, the whole uh, formation, if there was ever talk of one, is a bit of a mess. It's because I'm very new to the game, and I'm uh, very much trying to learn it, and do commentary on the fly. So you're kind of learning it with me here. I'm going to take out the Burke. Let's just do that with standard shot. Cease fire on the starboard side. That's your target. Nautilus full sails. I think these ships are pretty comparable. Although I don't know how many guns these guys have. The Essex really did a great job. Nice course and speed. Fire starboard. I don't need to, to, to capture all these ships. If I can just sink a few, that'd be great. Just to reduce their numbers a bit. Look at that thing. Just completely... Oh, well, not completely empty. But they did surrender. So they got the message. Uh, stay with the main formation. I'm pulling the siren back slightly to try and have the group form up a little more. Enterprise. Time to bring you in, girl. Essex has taken some damage. We have lost a few crew members, but overall we're perfectly fine. Mm, not sure if we can do much damage against the rigging at this angle. Just do straight up damage. You can slowly but steadily see the lower bar here, so their structural integrity decreasing. That's what I want. Take it down. Let's speed the battle up a little. I think the Burke is having trouble. Nautilus, slow down. Enterprise, get ready. Uh, standard shot. Hold starboard. It's like the Burke is not even doing damage. Curiously. 
Now, eventually, we're going to have to head east. And it looks like we're going to have to do that sooner rather than later, because it seems like there's more and more and more pirate ships coming in. Feel free to fire starboard now. Now we're getting somewhere. We need to head east. Where's the siren? Here. East we go. We're going to have to go through them, probably, but we can do that. Where's Essex? Here. Now, I think most of the crew for the Essex is located on starboard, because that's where most... Oh, no, never mind. It's the, the, the sailing angle of the ship. Uh-oh. Is ramming a thing? Mm. No, I don't think it is, because my ship's not taking damage. Fire starboard. That thing is getting butchered. When it starts blinking, basically means I'm gonna give up. Which in your case, buddy, is a good idea. Alright. Siren, straight east. Need to get to that safe point eventually. Oh, the Burke's not quite dead. She's still returning fire. And we have another pirate ship coming in. The Sivani body. Uh, we're going to take that out. I think the guns on the Essex are far better. Artillery shock. Are far better than the ones on those pirate ships. I still really need to wrap my head around the wind mechanics. Right right now, I'm trying to turn the ship, the Enterprise, into the wind. Which, with a square-rigged sailing ship, just doesn't work. So that's stuff that I still have to learn. Uh, full ahead. Oh, shit. There's another boy coming in here. I have 19 crew members. I'm not fighting a 65-guy ship. That's the Nusret. Wait. You better not be the guy who surrendered previously. It was though, wasn't it? Crap. Uh, Nautilus. We need your help. Siren, status. You're good. And the Burke and the Ebody are currently damaged. Maybe not posing that much of a threat. Enterprise doing damage against the body. I'd rather have you do damage against the Burke and finish her off. Fire when ready. It's just that we did most of the damage to the port side, not the starboard. So that's something I still need to try and maintain pressure on. Put pressure on one side of the ship and you're going to blow out basically all the armor like that. Now the Essex is bolting ahead. Getting ready to engage the Nusret. ED Nusret. Chain shot first. Get rid of that rigging. Fireman ready. Again, I'm very much uh, thinking that the Essex is just not as maneuverable as the other ship is. But I do outgun it. So if I can strip away their advantage of having a ship that is more maneuverable than I am then I can pretty easily wipe it out or capture it. And considering that I'm getting closer to the objective, I think capture might be beneficial here. But I'm not the only contender, there's another one. What's happening here? Enterprise and Burke are still fighting. Is my port side battery so much stronger than starboard? Oh, sorry, the other way around. That's weird. 
The hull is okay. Port side structural integrity is slightly lower. Turn. I think we're heading too far away from the safe zone. From our objective. There's the rest of my fleet. Here's the Bedrizaf. There's the Nusret. Turn. Ultra fire. Engage. Ideally, I want to capture that thing. Because I have 99 guys on here, and you only have 65, so I can take you. You just don't know it yet. Ultra fire. Prepare grape shot. Siren status. Seemingly fine. Essex is blowing some holes in the body. Which is good. Enterprise is coming back south. Southeast. Mm. Standard shot. Acquire the Nusret. <laughs> Acquire. It's guns, it's not a missile ship stealth. Come on. Now, what I don't quite get is why I cannot fire with the port side battery. Because the port side guns are ready. Gun ports are open. Is it something to do with the crew? I don't think so. But it looks like all of these ships, the starboard side, is so much more effective than the port. But I think it has something to do with crew management, so I'll have to look at that. Learn. Enterprise. It's time to head towards the exit, if there is such a thing at the ocean. How's the progression here? Nautilus has passed. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not even sure if these guys are actively engaging each other. Standard shot. It's the only thing that's currently going to work. Come on. Or should I turn you back? Yeah, I should probably turn you back to port. We're going <laughs> in reverse in a sailing ship. Right. Okay, Enterprise. It seems like you're right in the middle of the action here. Not necessarily a bad spot. But I don't want you to be surrounded. And morale is dropping. I don't like that. You got four pirate ships around you. We're all 17%. The Enterprise is wavering. Get out of here, Enterprise. Ooh. Oh, the Enterprise just lost her mast. Oh, that's problematic. That is problematic. How close is my final ship to its objective? Where's the siren? Jesus. We still have a long way to go. I need to save the Enterprise. That means that the Essex is going to have to kind of pull double duty. Yeah, it does have to do with the wind. Standard shot against the Nusret. Not less. Move in. Just ignore that guy. If I cannot save this ship, fine. I do want to save the Enterprise. It's a far more capable warship than those little pirate things that I've captured. Essex morale, 90%. Very good. The Enterprise is recovering, 27%. So the morale can get recovered. It's not like it's going to be gone 
during a battle. It really depends on how the battle is progressing for that particular ship, I think. Burks is flooding, isn't it? Yeah, there's not a lot of the Burks still up here. Let's see if we can finish that one off. Structural integrity in that ship's failing. That thing is not going to be with us for much longer. Now, arguably, the Essex is a bit too far north. But I'd rather get rid of these pirate ships. And then turn back. Yeah, the Burke is starting to really falter now. It's probably because these guys are realizing that they don't have a ship left. Nautilus dashing ahead. Burke has sunk. Well done. Starboard turn. Look at that. That is how we deal with pirates here. That's how I like him. Sunk. Alright, let's see if we can uh, do some rigging damage to the other guys. Divide and conquer. Ideally on the Nusret. 173? Yeah, because it's a different one. This is the body Inusaret, the other one that we just kind of disabled. Now, uh, the Enterprise is probably limited for speed, because she appears to be missing <laughs> a third of her sails. So I suppose that she's not going to make it to the exit pretty soon, but Siren is. We're getting close to the safe zone. The Essex has really proven her worth. Holding fire at the port side. Starboard side's good to go. Standard shot. Turn to port. These are 113, 113, 173. It's quite a lot. I'm not sure if that's capturable territory. Probably is not. Enterprise, fire on the Nusret. Disable or eliminate. The Nautilus is rushing ahead. Can I capture the Nusret with the Nautilus? Let's try. Essex, you're the one I'm keeping a very close eye on. The E.D.E. Nuzaret is taking quite a bit of hull damage. Starboard side armor seems mostly destroyed. Yeah, they're having a bad day. They're wavering. They are wavering. Excellent. Nautilus status. Can we capture this guy? I want to try. If only for our exercise. The morale on the Enterprise, for me, I'm not sure if that's good enough. 68. 70% is better, plus... No, actually, I don't have more crew here. Enterprise, fire grape shot. I need to come alongside the, the Ba'i Nuzret if I want to capture it. I'm going to try and sort of pinpoint it or <clears throat> capture it between our two ships. That's the plan anyway. Essex still has three ships chasing after her. Yeah, she's not having a good time. She's probably wondering which way to go. Unfortunately for you, there is no way to go. Fifty-two mem crew members left. Forty-eight. They're coming along real quick, they're not less. Ah, 
Enterprise, do you think you can capture her? Oh, she surrendered. Okay. Siren has retreated. Very good. So that's the mission objective done. I suppose... That I can then just have the rest of the ships evac. Well, leave. Essex is leaving the battle. I kind of don't want her to yet. Because she can still do some damage. This is my captured ship. That's the sinking one. And we got three pirate ships over here. Let's go to very fast. Essex, not yet, buddy. I still have use for you. All of those guns? Too valuable to pull out of the fight already. Just don't go anywhere now. Bring those guns to bear. She's so... Uh, what is that? She's flooding? And I think she's pumping. So she's trying to get the water out. Alright, you're good to go. How's the Enterprise? Turn that way. Essex, I need you to lay down suppressive fire on the enemy to make sure that the Enterprise can get out of here. How are we for cannon shot? Does it say... Okay, you've retreated. I'm not even sure. Oh, there we go. One of them has been toasted. The Kaplan Ibari. That's a nice ship you got there. Shame something happened to it. Come on. Enterprise must survive. Nautilus has no problem with acceleration, but the Enterprise does. She's struggling badly. Come on. Looks like these pirate ships cannot take a whole lot. But it's not like the Enterprise is happy to be here. Yep. These guys are prob... Oh, oh. No, let's not ram the Enterprise. I think she has enough trouble as is. Turn. Some damage against the Chief anybody. Nautilus. Yeah, you know what? Just make it to the safe zone. We're fine. We captured one ship. We sunk two. Uh, one surrendered. And I would love to capture another. I'm just not sure which one then. Because they... See, this one is too heavily damaged, the Kaplan. So I'd ideally sink that. And just get it out of the way. So that I can have a bit more time with capturing the rest. Maybe this one, because it has the fewest crew members. Oh boy. Oh, that's what happened. The crew... Gotcha. The crew gets off of the ship and moves to a different ship. Now it all makes sense. That's why these other ships suddenly had a ton of crew. That's why. So we just need to grape shot them and reduce the amount of crew. 162 currently versus my 196. 157. 155. Are you... That one's sinking. 143. 140. No, you're not. 131. Let's see if we can capture it. Come here. 126, and they're wavering. Their morale's being broken. 
Slow. Same course. Good angle. No. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Angle's good. There we go. Resistance is futile. The Essex has you now. And you are done for. Good. Transfer a, a full crew. No, 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 no. Uh, a, few, a full crew is a bit much. Just transfer a part of the crew. And get her out of there. Essex. We still have the body, Nuzret, over here. And she seems to have a pretty sizable crew. So let's make sure that that changes real quick. Two hundred. Jesus, this is already turning into a fifty-one minute video. Oh well. Introduction to the game, I suppose. Or maybe in a way, how not to play the game, because I'm probably doing all sorts of stuff wrong that uh, when I get more experience with the game, I'll be laughing my ass off at. Essex, move out. Two and a half knots. Come on, you can do more than that. Four knots. Sink the bastard. Well, I might not have enough gunnery crew left with all the crew that I took off the ship. Yeah, I think the body is not going to survive this. A lot of those Berber pirates are not coming home from this raid. Okay, time to disengage. Enterprise, you're almost there. Get out there. I don't know if this qualifies or if I need to be in that sector. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to try to make it to that sector instead. Oh, you're flooding, aren't you? Yeah, they're done for. Victory! Job done. Fleet strength, 728 crew, 720 crew. They lost 495 crew members. Two ships were captured, three ships were sunk. Goals. At least one must be fulfilled. Eliminate the enemy fleet. Check. Enemy fleet retreated. Nope. And the siren survived. So, mission complete. So, I now have 36,000. That's a whole lot more. But Essex needs repairs for 2137. We're going to do that. Enterprise needs repair for 3,000. Siren for Mir 84. And Nautilus for 323. This one is a trophy ship. I can sell this to the Admiralty for 5. Or purchase cost. And I can actually get it myself. These things are pretty fast. 13.9. Making them faster than the fastest ship that I have, which is the Nautilus. Let's send one to the Admiralty. Reputation. Ah, you gain reputation as you win battles or sell a trophy. If you lose battles or order goods, you lose reputation. If your reputation hits zero, you will lose the campaign. Uh-huh. If I do this, right. Okay, so I now have this one, which needs crew. We're going to go for an optimum amount of crew for 2,373 and a bit of reputation. Uh, we can arm them with the trade musket. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at these off screen because this is <laughs> a lot of stats to pick up. And for guns, we have six pounder Armstrong guns. Hmm... What are the biggest guns I can put on this? I suppose six six pounder disaguliers. Latest generation of naval brass cannon design. 
Long barrel cannon, harder to reload, much more massive, offers better armor penetration and higher range. Right. Range 1300. Range 950. Whoa. That's a substantially better range. But the upgrade is going to cost me almost 6,000. Maybe I can better spend that on other stuff. Oh, and I also need to get officers in here. Um, Emery Madison. I will have Cyrus Pike. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. And Hezekiah Polk. Upgrade. I also need to reinforce the crews here. Why does the level go down? Ah, because I'm bringing in the fresh boys. Right. So my skill goes down because my number of recruits is relatively greater. If I go for reservists, so people from the reserve, I pay a lot more. But the stats are way better. You know what? I don't mind. I have quite a bit of cash on hand. I can buy more crew, and with the more crew, I can probably do more captures. Also, let's see if I can upgrade. Maximum speed, plus one knots, acceleration improves. If this thing is going to be involved in more captures, I want to make sure that she has advantages for that. There were some that I saw as I did a quick scan of it. Boarding equipment one. Is there a boarding equipment too? Maybe it hasn't been invented yet. Uh, tech tree. Is that this? Yes, research. Uh, whew. What am I looking at? With the end with. They could have put a whole tutorial video on this. And considering that they're not making it, maybe I should, once I understand what all this is. I, if I understand it correctly, all of these I have. And all of this stuff I can still research. That's my current understanding of it. Ah, back to the ships. Can I buy different ships? Yeah, frigates. No, this is... Yeah, this is my fleet. I can sell them for that. I can buy them for this. That's expensive. And of course, the more guns you have, the lower your maneuverability will be. Okay. Back to the ships that I have. Uh, you need more crew. You need more crew. Nautilus needs a few more crew members. And I was going to upgrade the Essex to have better boarding equipment. Better boarding equipment. There you go. Overload. Oh, I have too much weight on the ship. Okay. In that case, we're going to have to just send some crew members off. Upgrade. Um, the Enterprise. I can use the Enterprise as a sloop of war. So just as a sheer gunboat. Which means that I can upgrade her guns. She's currently carrying 9-pounders. And those are the Armstrong's guns. Right. That's the biggest stuff that I can put on her. But the yeah, the Essex can use bigger guns. I just don't have any different ones. I could put 6-inch guns on there, but I probably won't benefit from that. Or 6-pounder guns, not 6-inch. Right, I'll have to figure all of this stuff out. I'll get back to you guys um, in a future video. That is, if you guys like what you're seeing here. And um, then we're going to have a look at what these guns are, what they can do, and why I should be picking which. Anyway, 60-minute um, intro to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Linked down below in the description, you can find more about the game. Link to the Steam page there. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you have any constructive criticism, I am all ears. Again, post it down below in the comment section, and I would be glad to learn from you. I hope you guys are enjoying what you see. 
Um, and I shall be with you with another video, provided that this one gets enough views and likes. Thank you for watching. See you soon for another one.